Hiya guys, this is my autumn fall makeup look. I hope you enjoy it. I did prime my eyes beforehand and I did um, use deeply dashing on my eyelids but what happened was the camera cut out so I, I started it again but I didn't take any of the paint pot or eye primer that I had on. But anyways, I go first in with the colour Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek and the makeup brush I use is MAC 217 and I build that up just so it doesn't give any harsh lines and then I go in with the same brush again with the colour Deeply Dashing and I just keep going in a windscreen motion I think they say um, on my brow bone to just keep building the colour up because I don't want any harsh lines but just make sure that you keep blending because the key is blending you want to keep you want the colours to just blend perfectly together no harsh lines where you can see that one colour starts and the other one begins just want it to just smoothly show the different colours without any harsh lines I really like Bitten for the winter or autumn should I say because it's just such a nice colour and you don't need a lot and it just pops on your eyelids I think and then I'm carrying on building that up and then I do go in with Bitten I go in with Bitten and I pack it on with my MAC 238 brush I will write all the names in the description box um, but I'm sure it was a MAC 238 brush that I use just to build the colour on my inner part of my eyelids but when I do that it doesn't build up as well on my eyelids because my eyelids are darker and I could have gone in a bit more heavy handed but I didn't want to because I did want a simple makeup look because it is going to be a normal day for me I'm just going to go out to the movies and go for a bite to eat ask me having a cup of tea um, so anyways yeah I'll go in with a winged eyeliner and I am using the wing the eyeliner which is 17 it's a waterproof one and it does give like a shiny finish I wasn't keen on it at first because of the shine. I'll always like a matte eyeliner, but it has grown on to me. And now I'm going in with a Lord Berry coil eye pencil and I just tight line my eyes. And then I go in again with Bitten, just under my eyelids, and I go in with the brush 217 again, just to build the colour up slowly. Because it looks nice when you have a little bit of colour going outside your eyelids, but I do have quite deep set eyes, so I don't like to go too heavy. And then I just top up with some mascara. I'm not very keen on eyelashes, I'd only wear eyelashes on like a wedding or something, and that's even a maybe. I just don't like the feeling of them sometimes. And then I just have a little bit of fallout under my eyes. So I just clean that up with my Garnier makeup remover. And now I'm going in with my foundation which is Estee Lauder Double Wear. And the shade that I use is Ivory Beige. This is quite a full coverage foundation, so it's not for everybody, but it is so my everyday foundation to be fair. But I do love the, I love that it just lasts because I start work sometimes 8 in the morning and I'm at work until 7 or even 8 o'clock in the evening and it just gives really good build, it just gives really good build up and it gives great coverage. So I use my Real Techniques buffing brush to just blend that into my skin And then what do I do after that? I go in with my NC 
35 concealer. This is the big pot concealer I've got. I think you can only get this in some stores. I think it's the main MAC stores. You can't get in the concessions. But it's just a big MAC concealer, the NC35 Studio Fix one. And I use my fingers. I have got the whole brush, but I just think I give get a more flawless look when I use my fingers. So I just do that under my eyes. And then I go in with the Maybelline concealer just to buff it out with the sponge. It, because my eyes are really deep set and they're dark I like I probably use too much concealer for some people but I like it it just gives me a bright look under the eyes and then if anything has come off from me putting the concealer on like the eyeshadow bit that I put on I go back in with my 217 brush and I just build that up again I keep touching my hair it was in my way I should have really just put a bubble on but I wanted my face to look slim Put my hair all the way back I just look really chubby and I got big cheeks and now I'm going in with oh no I was gonna go with my Laura Mercier and start the baking but then instead I decided to um, contour my face so I use a I use revolution um, I use a revolution contour palette it's really good you know it's only like seven pounds and it does do wonders I think but yeah, I build up my contour and I use a tilted contour brush. It's not a branded one, it's just something I purchased online. And then after I build my contour up, I go in with, go in with my Laura Mercier powder and I just bake under my eyes and under my cheeks. I don't contour my nose or my forehead every day. I just like doing my cheeks because it just gives me dimension because I am quite round faced round faced <laughs> make myself laugh with things I say sometimes and now I go in with my blusher it's the morphe palette one I will write what palette it is on the description box below but yeah so whilst I bake whilst I do my blusher I wait for my Laura Mercier powder to set into my skin once it's settled I just wipe it off and you can see when you go in with the Laura Mercier powder later after you've done the contouring, get a sharper line, which is why I love. And then now I'm going in with a nude Essence lip liner, just to give me a bit of shape to my lips. And then I go in with a Huda matte lipstick. I cannot remember what colour it was. I'm sure it is bombshell, but I'm gonna write the name in the description box. And now I'm going in with my brow drama. I don't fill in my eyebrows every day because they are quite dark to be fair. Sometimes I do, depends how I feel, but I don't really fill them in, I just use a brow drama. Just sets them into place and gives just a little bit of colour. Now I'm using my Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm using Moonlight with my fan brush. That's the only colour I use to be honest, Moonlight, even on clients. I haven't had many darker tone clients to be honest so I haven't been able to use a darker shade but this is the final look guys I really hope you enjoyed it and it probably is a little bit simple but I think it's great for every day if you want to look that little bit extra glam and I hope you enjoy the rest of my videos that I've got coming I'm gonna keep you updated on my weight loss journey I have lost a bit of weight but I'm gonna let you know in my next video but let me know how you get along with this look and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching guys and see you soon.